Help me! Hey, you guys hear something? Sure did. Sounded like somebody calling for help. Shall we have a look around, Noct? Longest chocobo I've ever seen. Yeah, off me. You okay? You know, considering you're underneath a giant bird, it appears to have found a new nesting spot. Usually, I can entice it into moving with a treat. Right, chocobo feet. Okay, hold on. Beef with my greens? Um, uh, he's a pretty picky eater. <laughs> he only eats the very best veggies. Sounds like somebody I know. That's so. Nah, Noct wouldn't eat his veggies if they were the last food on Eos. All right. Perhaps we should pop by the post. Wiz might have some good food for sale. Chocobos could grow up to be such big birds. It is quite curious, given that chocobos are known for their high metabolism. <sighs> Those lucky cluckers. No body issues aside, this is kind of a pressing matter. So why don't we give the young lady a hand? Safe and sound. No mistake in the smell of chocobos. So where's a guy supposed to find fat chocobo feed? Let's ask the shop clerk, or one of the breeders. Howdy. What can I do you for? Thank you kindly. These look positively grand. Yeah, so... Beefy. I better love it. And the little lady will be saved. Speaking of, she looked a bit peculiar. Those pointed ears suddenly piqued my curiosity. Didn't notice. Well, you can have a good look when we go and give her these greens. Brought you some high quality greens. Just set them down uh, over there. Take it easy up there, will ya? Lifesavers. 
Don't sweat it. After all, helping people's what hunters do best. Whoa, now. Easy there, tough guy. Hunters? You know, people who slay wild beasts and stuff. Oh. So you're like, adventurers. I'm Yajime of the Y Tribe. The what tribe? <laughs> so glad I ran into you. I have the perfect quest for you adventurers. You know that big walled area nearby? Something terrible is about to happen inside. You mean the Imperial base? What are they plotting within? They're preparing to perform a divine summoning. They're going to summon a god! Right! As opposed to... I believe the name speaks for itself. And you're not freaking out? If that wicked primal shows up here, this world will be in big trouble, you know? You don't want that to happen, do you? You have to help me, please! Okay, jeez. Oh, great! Here, take this Link Pearl. We can use it to keep in touch with each other. Oh, slow down a sec. Let's be sure to meet up again a little later. All right, adventurers. See you soon. I... Uh, hey, wait up! <laughs> Guess she wasn't listening. We couldn't even get a word in edgewise. Does this mean we're locked into helping her? And going on an adventure? Given the Empire's penchant for demonizing the Divine, I'm afraid we can't stand to let this go. So what? We just follow her straight into the belly of the beast? <sighs> well, my friends, doesn't sound like we have much of a choice. Easy now. Keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Right behind you. riding with you. <sighs> you gonna get that? How am I supposed to get it? Like, uh, this? Loud and clear. Okay, listen, first... Already inside? Look, run away.
It's quiet. Too quiet. After the Empire withdrew its troops, this base remained completely barren until now. Yeah, Jimmy? Where are you? Hey! Hey! Can you see me? Up here! There's something I want to show you. Do you think you can possibly make it over this way? On my way. Stay right where you are. She's got something to show us. I'll go. By yourself? Yeah, it's faster that way. And who knows what she'll do if we take too long. Good point. We'll stay here and take care of whatever comes our way. You made it! I'd expect nothing less from an expert adventurer! Ah, <sighs> right. So, what was it you wanted to show me? And what the hell's up with those ears and that tail? First, what I wanted to show you. Here, why don't you use this telescope and see for yourself? I don't know where I'm supposed to look. Do you see that huge machine and that strange-looking ritual going on? Uh, let me see... What are those things? And what are they doing? They're Ixali Beastmen. They're getting ready to perform the Divine Summoning. It's a secret ritual that calls forth Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. Chosen primal of the Ixal. Right, I get it. Just like forging a covenant. What happens if this Garuda shows up anyway? Well, the gods manifest themselves by drawing energy from the land, and this particular god is supposed to be really vicious. Uh huh, which means lots of destruction. Well, guess we better do something then. Exactly! I know it's a dangerous endeavor. But you adventurers have to stop the ritual before it's too late. What kind of machine is that? I believe it's this world's version of a teleporter. I found myself right next to it when I came to, so it may have brought me here. What do you mean, this world? You know, your world. 
The one we're in right now. That device must have linked up with one of the ancient Allegan teleporters I found back home. I racked my brain, and that's the only theory I could come up with. Sure. Sounds like something straight out of a video game. Oh, and as for my ears and tail, have you really never seen a Makote before? You mean they're real? Very real. We ought to be able to get to the ritual area through that door. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's locked now. I think they locked it after I escaped, so nobody could interfere with the summoning. <laughs> Sounds like they're really devoted to their cause. What are those spheres moving around down there? They're moving now? That's funny. I'm pretty sure they were stationary when I escaped from this place. with that statue over there. You mean, you haven't come across one in your adventures? I can sense the ethereal power of the winds flowing through that statue. I suspect it has something to do with the divine summoning of Garuda. <laughs> well then, I guess we'd better go check it out. about cover it. Probably can't get into the ritual area just yet. Maybe we better start by checking out that statue. Sounds good. And I'll go with you this time. That's quite a story you brought back down with you. No wonder you took so long. I'm kind of jealous. Sounds just like a video game. But we mustn't treat it like one. Still, we've seen our fair share of fantastical happenings, so we can't write it off outright. Yeah. Yajime seems genuinely worried about the whole thing. Least we can do is go check it out. Oh, thank you. You adventurers are the best. Watch out, Yutime! I'll distract him. You guys take him out. Last thing I need now. Showtime! Oh, no! What's that smell? I just so happen to know a little bit of our thing. Leave that healing to me! Ah! How come you ah! can't do that? How the hell should I know? Just focus on the task at hand. Oh, oh, together, yeah. champ. I know. And on we go. Right. That takes care of that. Tell me, what sort of magic were you using? Just a simple curative spell. I'm only a novice. No way! You're out of this world! Literally. <laughs> you sure saved our skins. 
Just don't forget to save your own, too. <laughs> so, is this that statue you talked about? Not simply any statue, it's an artistic interpretation of the Emissary of the Winds. One of the messengers. A friend of Gentiana's? Um, she never said anything about him. Well, it's not surprising. Likely because the only terms that mention it are of dubious origin. Her name has been lost to the ages. No one's sure it ever existed at all. The Empire seems pretty sure. I mean, check out all this equipment. They're doing some serious research. I'd like to inspect it as well. There's something unusual about it. A strange power slumbering within. Who cares about some forgotten chunk of Imperial rock? I think we've got more important business on our hands. Indeed, the Ixor. Considering the way those sentries attacked earlier, I'd say the Beastmen have begun using the base as their own. Then I say we let sleeping statues lie and go kick some Beastman butt. Uh, all right. Your shards? The Ixali Beastmen must be using them. reception we get. Hey, Jimmy, didn't you say they almost captured you? Yes. I was so scared. If my chocobo hadn't been with me, who knows what would have happened? To think of all the horrifying things they could be doing to me right now. Oh, whatever those horrifying things are, I definitely don't want them being done to me. Well, we're glad you made it to safety. Hey! <laughs> Peach, 
Chi. Thanks for the healing. I must say, the Ixali Beastmen seem all but hell-bent on seeing their so-called divine summoning to completion. Well, we'd better hurry then. I don't think we'd stand much of a chance against the Lady of the Vortex. Gotta find a way in first. They should be just beyond that wall. This is the teleporter, I presume. It looks strikingly similar to Solheim's magic technology. You think this is what the Ixel used to get here? Actually, eh, how should I put this? You see, they didn't come here of their own accord. I brought them. What? I kind of borrowed some valuable scholarly documents from their camp, and they kind of caught me red-handed. I managed to escape into some ancient ruins, but then there was this little accident, and, well, here we all are. I'm sorry I kept quiet about it. I should have told you. Uh, well, no need to apologize now. I mean, you did cause some trouble, but at least you're trying to make things right. Yeah. If it was me, I probably would have just turned tail and run. We appreciate you helping us understand the situation. Why not allow us to help you in return? Exactly. Leave it to us. After all, that's what adventurers do, right? Save people and stuff? Wow, guys. What would I do without you? I'm gonna do everything I can to help, too. Good. Gotta get it unlocked. Ah! There. All done. Should be able to open the gate now.
this alien world. Rejoice and fall to your knees in supplication. I, the supreme deity Garuda, shall rule over the skies and fill them with storms. We've already got our share of problems down here. This divine intervention is the last thing we need. Insects seem not to know their place. Behold, as my gales drown out your arrogant protestations, tremble as my winds tear you limb from limb! Surrender ah! yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind! Let's be done with this rift now. Here I am! Ah. <laughs> I'm following, but as long as you're helping me out, I'm with you! Is it over? Hey, where's Noct? Adventurers! Are you all right? Yes, we three at least. Oh no. No! This can't be! There you are! Oh, oh man! I, I thought you disappeared on us! Are you hurt? No, I think I was just dreaming. Uh, you sure you're okay there, Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, I'm 
fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so afraid you'd been whisked away to my world this time. Speaking of which, do you think you'll be able to make it back? Well, I'm not sure. If I manage to arrive here in one piece, I imagine I'll be able to head home safely too. Do you really think so? But of course, I'm not worried. Besides, as a natural historian, the opportunity to explore an unknown world fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to stay here a while and do some more research. If you adventurers have anything you'd like me to investigate, just let me know. Oh, that's right. I never asked any of your names. A bit late for that. Come on, show the young lady a little kindness. I'm Gladio. Me next! Prompto's my name. Photography's my game. Photography? Taking pictures? Hold on a sec. You had your turn. How can I forget the bespectacled gentleman with the bespectacled oh, gentleman? You're some wingman. I was defeated by the gods and awakened by a traveler from another world. Thank you. 